Hey everyone, welcome back to my Mexican kitchen here in Switzerland. The recipe I have for you guys today is some super yummy uh, fried uh, potato tacos. In Spanish it would be tacos dorados. They're soft tacos and there's hard tacos. These would be the hard tacos. They're filled with yummy um, potato and I'm also going to show you how to make a super delicious sauce which I know you guys are going to love. The ingredients you need to make your tacos are four potatoes, one tomato finely chopped, half an onion finely chopped, one guajillo pepper, one tablespoon of flour, a dash of cumin, two garlic cloves, salt to taste, tortillas, frying oil. The ingredients you need to make your sauce are two tomatoes, one guajillo pepper, salt to taste, two garlic cloves, half an onion, one teaspoon of oregano, a dash of cumin, two cups of chicken broth. Okay, so to get started, uh, the first part is going to be a bit entangled, the taco recipe with the sauce recipe because I want to make use of the broth we're going to be using in the sauce recipe. So first of all, you're going to put, um, I'm using homemade broth. Whenever I cook chicken or pork or beef, I usually keep the broth and I freeze it in little Tupperwares. These are about two cup portions. So like this, I always have homemade broth for whenever I want to make rice or soups or anything. It's healthier and it tastes much more delicious. So I'm going to be using the two cups of homemade broth, which I need for the sauce anyhow. I'm going to put them to boil and the chile de guajillo have to be hydrated. So what you do is you cut off the stem, you shake off the seeds and you're going to put them to hydrate in the broth. Might as well use it. Uh, one of these is used in the sauce. The other one we're going to use in the tacos, which is the first part we're going to be doing. For the sauce, we also need tomatoes, but these have to be cooked. So we're also going to cook them in the broth to make use of, of the broth and the water, the cooking. And while that's happening, uh, the potatoes, to save time, I had already cooked them and I mashed them. Uh, all you have to do is boil water, add salt, and then uh, once the potatoes are cooked, you just peel them and mash them. You have to let them cool down. And uh, the next step will be adding a bit of uh, oil to a frying pan, and we're going to fry the diced onion, the diced tomato, and the minced garlic. We're going to fry it a bit. Once the onion is a bit see-through, then we can add that to our potato. We're going to mix it well, and then we're going to add the tablespoon of flour in there. You have to make sure that your potato mixture is cooled down or cold. The flour is supposed to be a glue, like this when you make your tacos and fry them, the filling doesn't come out and it doesn't make a mess in your oil. If you add the flour while the potato is hot, it just gets kind of sticky and it doesn't really serve its purpose. So make sure that you do it when your potatoes are nice and cooled down. And well, that would be it for now. <laughs> tomato I don't really like the little pieces of skin and sauces but if you want to leave it that's up to you it's fine it doesn't change the taste at all it's just the the texture of having the little pieces of skin in your sauce if you want to do it fine and if not just take it off um, we hydrated two chilies one we need for the sauce and one we need for the potato so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put one of those chilies in our processor we're going to put the garlic clove salt to taste cumin and a little bit of um, the chicken stock that we're using, the chicken broth, just so to help it process well, because since there's no liquid, it won't break down if there's no liquid in there. Once we have this little piece of sauce or uh, paste that we're making with the chili and the rest of the ingredients, we're going to pour those into the potato and we're going to mix well with our hands just to make sure that the whole chili paste gets in there nice and evenly. And then we would be done with our potato filling. Um, 
our potato filling is done, we're finished there. Let's make the sauce now so that we have everything done before we start frying our tacos. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put the hydrated guajillo pepper in here, the two garlic cloves, the half of the onion, and the two tomatoes we previously cooked as well. We're going to add the salt, which is to your liking, the oregano, and the cumin. We're also going to add our chicken broth in here and we're going to process it until all the ingredients break down. Uh, once all the ingredients have broken down, you can strain it as well also if you don't want any pieces, but if you want to leave pieces, it's perfectly fine. Uh, once you're finished processing, you pour it back into your pan and you're going to heat it up. This isn't your typical cold sauce. This goes warm or very hot. So we have to heat the sauce up. And then we're done with these two steps. making our tacos. For those of you that are not Mexican or have never had Mexican food, this is what a tortilla looks like. This one I already heated. Uh, when you heat a tortilla, you always have to heat them. It makes it flexible so you can use it to make tacos or any dish you, you need to use it with that has to have a warm flexible tortilla. Not all dishes need the tortilla warmed, but in this case we do need it. It's very, very, very needed in this case. So this is your tortilla. This one's already been heated. Um, this would be a cold tortilla. It breaks very easily if you try to, if you, if you bend it, it breaks completely. So there, it wouldn't help you make a taco with a broken tortilla. You need to heat your tortilla first. And now to build your taco. So you grab your heated tortilla, which is already nice and flexible. And I'm going to show you two ways of how you can do this. You're going to scoop some of the filling, which in this case is the potato filling. You can put as much as you want, little or, or a lot, that's up to you guys. And uh, the first step is the just folding it in half and you grab a toothpick, you pass it through the both sides of the tortilla and then pass it again towards the front again. What this does is it helps your taco keep in place and it doesn't, um, it doesn't open when you're frying it because we're going to have to fry them. You're going to need a big saucepan, you're going to put a lot of oil in there, you're going to heat it up and you're going to fry your tacos. So if you don't put the toothpick, the tortilla will just open and the filling will come out. Once you've fried your tacos, you can take that toothpick out and your tortilla, your taco will keep its shape. So this is uh, the first option of how to build a taco. The second one is just rolling it up. So again, the, the heated tortilla, so it's flexible. You scoop up some filling as much as you want or as little as you want. And you're just going to fold one side over and then the other. And the moment you put it to fry, you always have to put this side, the one that's folded over, on the bottom. Like this, this part fries first, it seals the taco, and when you flip it over, it won't open. Otherwise, if you put it this way, the, the taco will open again, so you would need the toothpick, which in this case, you can save the toothpick option. And um, just as a tip to make things faster, heat up all your tortillas. You can keep them in a in a towel or in a bread basket anything, or a tortilla basket in my case. Anything you have like that, you speed up the process of your tacos. Uh, I usually have two plates, one where I keep all my cold tacos before I fry them, and another one with paper towels where I put the tacos once they've been fried. Um, what I usually do is I, line the, I fry as many tacos as I can and I line the plate uh, so I don't have to use several plates. I put another a uh, piece of paper, of cooking paper, and then I line tacos on top of that and I just keep stacking it up until I make all my tacos like that. The paper will absorb as much oil as possible, but basically that's it. So let's start frying our tacos. the tower I mentioned with the absorbent paper in between each layer. It makes it easier just so you don't, it makes you feel less guilty about the fat because yeah, this isn't the healthiest dish, but I promise you it's super yummy. It's super worth it. So, um, well, oops, one slid out. Let me show you how the tacos look. The purpose of putting so much oil is so that it fries evenly. If you put little oil, you'll have uneven spots and they don't look so nice. If you have a lot of oil, 
they crisp all golden evenly so they look really nice. This is the one that has no toothpick and as you see if you do fry it this way it won't open, it's, it keeps its shape nicely. And let me put this one down here. This is one of the ones with the toothpick. So if you put the toothpick it won't open and you just slide the toothpick out quite easily and it won't open like I said it stays closed. So those are the two options, whichever one you like the most. And how to build a taco, <laughs> in case you're not Mexican and you don't know or you've never had Mexican food. Uh, what I usually do is I put the sour cream first or the crema fresca if you find any uh, Mexican produce stores in your area. And it's kind of like a glue like this, the, the salad which we're going to put, in, to put on the lettuce. You, you need some chopped up lettuce, I chopped it up quite finely. So this is how you pretend you're eating salad in Mexico. <laughs> and you can put as much as you want of all these ingredients. It's up to you, to your liking. And last but not least, the yummy sauce we made with the chicken broth. Oh, mm, that looks good. <laughs> and what do you guys think about when they ask you Mexican food? Pretty sure you're all gonna say tacos, and yeah, that is a really big deal in Mexico. You have morning tacos and you have night tacos. And we do make tacos out of everything. A tortilla is the bread to Mexicans. So uh, if you're using a tortilla as, your, as a company in your meal, what you do is sometimes you just grab whatever's in your dish, you put it in the tortilla, not a fried tortilla, a normal soft tortilla, you fold it and you make a taco. So yeah, we do eat a lot of tacos, but Mexican food is more than tacos. This is just one of our super yummy things. And let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. When you think of heaven, just after taking a bite, you're, you're gonna know what heaven is. This is so good. It's really, really, really good. You have to try it. We can give ourselves gu guilty pleasures every once in a while. Don't think about the frying or anything. I mean, you are scrubbing it off with the paper, so it's all good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and tell me how what you think of the tacos. See you.